Hello everyone, welcome to Payment Tech Medio. In this video, you are going to learn different ways to convert decimal number to an octo number. In this section, we will use binary as a bridge to convert decimal number to the binary and then convert binary to octo. So decimal is base 10 system. We have 0 to 9, total of 10 different numbers including 0. Octo is base 8 system. We have 0 to 7 total of eight different numbers and we have to keep in mind that for every octo number we have three bits because in three bits it covers zero to seven if we turn off all of them that's zero and if we turn on all of them that's seven four plus two plus one that's seven so for every octo number we have three bits now let's say we have 140 decimal number and we want to convert it to octo number using binary. So let's put the binary positions here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 for example. And the decimal values for the binary is 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. And as we talked about earlier in previous videos where these number is coming from, it's basically 2 to the power of bit position. Why 2? Because of the binary number is a base 2 system. We have only 1 and 0. So base is 2. Bit position, this is bit position 0, bit position 1, bit position 2. So again 2 to the power of 0, 1, 2 to the power of 1, 2, 2 to the power of 2, 4, and so on. And as we can see, kind of doubles. 1, 2, 4, so it's multiplied by 2 when we move one place to the left. Okay, now let's go ahead and convert 140 decimal to the binary. Well, what we have to do, we have to see if this value is greater than or equal to this number. If it is, then we put 1. In this case, 140 is greater than 128. So what is the new value? 140 minus 128, which is 12. This is our new value now. 12 is this greater than or equal 64? No, it's off. 12 is this greater than or equal 32? No, therefore it's off. 12 is it greater than or equal 16? No, 12 it's not greater than 16, so it's off. 12 is it greater than or equal 8? It is greater than 8, so it's 1. What is our new value? So 12 minus 8, which is 4. This is our new value. 4 is it greater than or equal 4? It is equal 4, so it's turned on. Now we have to get our new value. So 4 minus 4, 0. This is our new value. And when we get to 0, the rest of them is off. So this is our binary number for 140 decimal. Let's put together here 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0. Now we have to count right to left every 3 and separate. Why 3? Because of the octo number. Every octo number is 3 bits. 1, 2, 3, separate. 1, 2, 3, separate. 1, 2, probably 0 to the left. That's why we are counting right to left. 1, 2, 3, and separate. Because we might have zeros to the left. Now let's put the decimal values for the octo numbers. We have 1, 2, 4, 1, 2. 2, 4, 1, 2, 4. Now why here we have 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4 and here we have 1, 2, 4, 8, 16 because this was our binary and depending as many as binary we have it basically continues and doubles 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 1, 28, 2, 4, 6, 5, 12 and so on. But here this is for our octo number. Every octo we are counting right to left and separate by 3, right? 1, 2, 3, separate. 1, 2, 3, separate. So this is the first group, second group, and so on. Therefore, decimal values goes 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4. Okay, as we can see, in this group, only 2 is turned on. In this group, 1 turned on. In this group, only 4 turned on. Therefore, we have 2. Here, we have only 1 turned on. And here, 4 turned on. If we had multiple, we just need to add the ones that is turned on. For example, if this was on here, 4 plus 1 would be 5. But because only 4 is turned on, so we just put 4. In other words, 140 decimal number is equivalent to 214 octo number. Now in this section, we will convert decimal to octo number using successive division technique. 
In other words, we are directly converting decimal number to an octal number. Let's see how. So in this section, we want to convert 140 decimal number to an octal number using successive division technique. We are using the same number we used earlier. So 140 decimal gives us 214 octal number. So this subscript 10 means this is a decimal number. Subscript 8 means this is octal number, which is base 8 system. Okay, so what do we have to do first? Writing down 140 divided by 8. Why 8? Because of the octal number, which is 17.5. And in order to get the remainder, we just need to multiply 8 to 0 0.5, which is 4. So in other words, 140 divided by 8 equals 17, and with the remainder of 4. Then 17 divided by 8 equals 2. 2 times 8 is 16, therefore remainder is 1. And 2 times 8 equals because this is less number than 8, we put 0 here, so remainder 2. And when we have 0, we stop. And we need to read these numbers from bottom to top, which is 2, 1, 4, as we can see here. Therefore, decimal value of 140 is equivalent to 2, 1, 4 octal number. Now let's take a look using the calculator. So we want to change the view from standard view to the programmer view and decimal is already selected. So our decimal number 140, let's enter 140. And here we can see for the octal number 214, 214 octal number. This was an example of converting decimal number to octal number using successive division technique. This was quick overview of different ways to convert decimal number to an octal number. In the first example, we used binary as a bridge converting decimal to binary and then from binary to octal number. And in the second example, we directly converted decimal number to an octal number using the successive division technique. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any question, please leave it in the comment section. If you like the video, please hit the thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks again and have a good day.